An oxygen hood is a clear plastic piece of equipment that helps deliver oxygen to infants in need of supplemental oxygen. The hood surrounds the infant's head and leaves the rest of the body accessible for nursing care. We created this video to cover the medical definition and provide a brief overview of this topic. So if you're ready, let's get into it. As previously mentioned, an oxygen hood is a device that is used to deliver supplemental oxygen to neonates. It is made up of a transparent plastic enclosure that covers the head of the infant, leaving the rest of the body accessible for other types of care. Oxygen is delivered through large bore tubing that is connected to the hood. It can provide a stable FiO2 ranging from 21% to 100%. The design of an oxygen hood is beneficial because the infant can receive a controlled concentration of oxygen while being placed in a natural thermal environment, such as an incubator. The most common indications for using an oxygen hood to treat infants include to provide supplemental oxygen, to treat or prevent hypoxemia, to provide a controlled FiO2, to provide heated humidity, and to perform an oxygen challenge test. Again, oxygen hoods are beneficial because they can provide a stable FiO2 while the infant is in a controlled environment. In fact, they are even more stable than oxygen tents, which are another type of oxygen delivering enclosure device used with infants. There are certain hazards and complications associated with using an oxygen hood. Some of the most common examples include limited mobility, limited access to the head, hypoxemia when opening the hood, complications from excessive oxygen delivery, skin irritation, cutaneous fungal infections, and hearing impairments. Mobility becomes a factor when an infant is placed in an oxygen hood for long periods of time, which can cause inconveniences if the infant is in need of long-term oxygen. When the oxygen hood is in use, it leaves limited access to the head. And therefore, if the hood is opened, less oxygen is delivered, which can result in hypoxemia. An improperly sized hood can cause skin irritation around the infant's neck. This can also occur if the infant is highly active while inside the hood. Finally, oxygen hoods require high gas flows that produce high noise levels inside of the enclosure. This can lead to hearing impairment if used for long periods of time. Although there are many benefits of using an oxygen hood, there are also certain precautions that need to be taken. As previously mentioned, oxygen hoods can deliver stable concentrations of oxygen to the infant. However, if there is a disconnection or loss of gas flow to the hood, it can result in serious complications and even death if the infant is highly dependent on oxygen. That is why an oxygen analyzer must be used at all times in order to continuously monitor the concentration of oxygen inside of the hood. The respiratory therapist is responsible for maintaining the proper alarms on the analyzer that will sound if the oxygen levels drop below a certain point. Another precaution to take is to make sure that the hood is properly sized for the infant. If it is too small, it can cause skin irritation. If it is too big, it can result in an improper seal, which can lead to a loss of oxygen. It is also important to monitor the infant's vital signs, such as heart rate, respiratory rate, and oxygen saturation levels. If the values fall outside of the normal ranges, it could be an indication of a serious respiratory disorder. If you want to support the channel, be sure to like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And there should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you'll enjoy. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day. And as always, breathe easy, my friend.